Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about computing related health and safety. This is a subject that should concern us all, as the long term impact of widespread computer use is still relatively unknown. In theory, when used appropriately in moderation, computers should have no impact on most people's health. However, in practice, intensive computer use can result in occasional and even long-term health issues. The most common complaints are upper limb disorders, eye problems, headaches and stress or fatigue. Upper limb disorders, such as repetitive strain injuries or RSI, may affect the fingers, hands, arms or shoulders, and can result in mild aches and pains through to chronic tissue or muscular complaints. Such health problems can result from prolonged high-speed typing or the intensive use of a mouse. They can also arise from a poor working posture. Whether or not computer use results in long-term eye problems remains a matter of debate. However, short-term computer-related eye problems are undeniable. These tend to be associated with sore eyes, headaches, blurred or softened vision, and sometimes a residual afterimage experienced for short periods. Excessive stress and fatigue are also commonly reported. These result from long periods of dexterous activity and visual concentration. Some people also find it uncomfortable to have to conform to software or hardware that constrains how they work, or which regularly crashes, or causes them to constantly wait. Many steps can and should be taken to reduce the health risks of long-term or habitual computer use. Specifically, measures need to be taken to ensure the screen image is clear, stable and free from glare or reflections. The keyboard should then be positioned with sufficient space to support the wrists. Many people also find that a wrist support makes typing more comfortable, with the gel variety being the most favoured. To prevent long-term mouse usage resulting in finger or upper limb problems, breaks from intensive rodent activity are highly advised. Other pointing devices, such as tablets, may also ease mouse-related RSI problems. The work chair should allow the attainment of a comfortable working position, and to facilitate this should feature an adjustable seat and back height and tilt. The chair should be adjusted so that the user's forearms are roughly horizontal, with all but the largest displays set with the top of the screen at eye level. A footrest should also be provided upon request. Alongside these physical arrangements, regular changes in working position, as well as periods of rest from the screen, are essential to avoid computing-related health disorders. The provision by employers of eyesight tests and any required spectacles is also mandatory for habitual display screen users across Europe, with training and risk reduction information also having to be supplied. European legislation also requires regular workstation risk assessments. Nobody has yet spent a normal lifetime using a computer both at work and in the home. The younger you are, the more important it therefore is that you try and use a computer as safely as possible. For more information, look in the DSE regs section of explainingcomputers.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.